for barging in like this. I thought it'd be a good place. Oh, first though, there's one more thing I figured out. Rise stopped by our store the other day. She said the dolls were cute, so I told her I made them. Then she said that was creepy. Kind of stung, but I kept on showing her the other stuff I made. And in the end, she said, maybe you're an amazing guy after all. Pissed me off the way she said it, but that aside, I get it now. This is what he was talking about. Just been throwing in the towel all this time. Of course no one could understand me. I've been keeping my distance out of fear. So I decided that I'd do things my way, no matter how tough, but... It ain't just about hanging out with guys who understand you and telling the rest to get bent. You gotta make an effort if you want people to understand you. I wasn't even trying. Not just about my hobby, but like, when the police suspected me. It didn't even cross my mind to try to tell them my story. I let them think whatever they want. And because of that, you, Ma, and that kid all got dragged into it. I didn't put in the slightest effort to try and make them understand. It's easier for me to act tough. So from now on, I got two rules. Rule one, be myself. Rule two, get people to understand me. I want you to have this, Senpai. This thing's me being me. Now I can say it straight out. Huh? That. This? For reals? I get it. So I've become a little stronger, huh? You're my hero, dude. And my best bud. So as far as getting other people to understand me, today I'm holding the Oven Mitt Puppets 101 class right here. Don't worry, even you can do it. It'll be real cute. Believe me.
<laughs> Thank you.
Are you Okay, that's all of us.
うの I'm surprised you made it this far. Allow me to confirm the crimes you've committed thus far. You had suspicions that this world was dangerous, yet you threw Mayumi Yamano into the TV. Knowing full well that Miss Yamano died here, you did the same to Saki Konishi. Not only that, but you duped Namatame into taking over your murder attempts while you watched like a spectator at a game. When the disappeared stopped dying, you sent a warning letter to ensure more victims.
Even when a copycat killer arose, you had the gall as a detective to eliminate a suspect under investigation. Two people died in the last six months, and a young girl is now in critical condition. But that's not all. If at any turn something had gone wrong, many more would have succumbed. All for some foolish excitement, like a criminal reveling in the chaos he creates. Yeah? So what's your point? All I did was put people in here. It's the world that really kills them, isn't it? This world reflects people's thoughts. Which, oh dear, does that mean the real culprits are everyone on the outside, including you? To hell with that! You did that stuff knowing full well those people were gonna die! If that's... <laughs> You're so self-righteous. How can you say that? Aren't you a police officer? Out of everything you could have been, didn't you specifically choose to join the police? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Just because someone joins the police doesn't make them some kind of agent of justice. You know why I applied? so I could legally carry a gun. That's all. You'd be surprised how many are like that. I thought it would be fun too, but to tell the truth, that was a wash. Everyone around me was such an idiot. I made one tiny mistake and they all got on my case and sent me out here to Nowheresville as punishment. I was bored shitless and wondering what to do next when I discovered this power. For crying out loud, why a bastard like you? A gift for having to put up with this lame job out in Nowheresville, I guess. I did that stuff cause I could, and it got interesting, so I watched. That's your reason? You can't be serious. You really don't care what happens to our world? Let's be honest. There's nothing great about the real world, is there? It's just dull and annoying as hell. No one accepts that's the way things are. They're just stuck with it because they can't deny it either. Those who actually succeed in life, they just happen to be born with a magic ticket called... If you don't have it, you can either accept or deny that fact until you die. That's your only choice. Once you realize that, all you have left in life is despair. The ultimate game over. Wouldn't it be better if that kind of reality was wiped away? That's complete BS! Brats like you are so damn naive. You piss me off. Listen, you might have hopes and dreams right now, but that's only because you know nothing about reality. One day you'll see. You'll be faced with a boring reality that boxes you in, no matter where you go. You're the only boring thing here! If you want to disappear, go ahead! Stop dragging us into it! <sighs> Stop yelling, punk! I understand you're all afraid and gotta act tough to cover it up, but gee... I'm telling you all this based on my own experience in life. Think about it for a second. Once everyone turns into shadows, they'll still keep on living, oblivious to all the things around them. So how's that different from the way it is now? No, this'll make things much easier for everyone. Easier? What the hell are you talking about? Come on. How many people out there actually think about what's real or what's right and wrong? Next to none, I bet. It's useless to think about those things in the first place. You don't get anything out of facing reality, and there's no way to change it either. I mean, what could be more boring than brooding over things you can't change? It's better to just ignore them and believe only what you want to believe in life. Doesn't that sound a lot easier? It would be awesome if everyone's life could be that easy. No matter who you are, your lifespan is about 80 years or so, right? 
then it'd be easier if we all just became shadows. No need to hold back anything. No more pretending we don't see things. Honestly, we don't need our world anymore. Better to let it be swallowed up and for mankind to turn into shadows. That's what all those people who are scared to death really want. So it's my duty to see that they get it. Nobody wants anything like that! It's just you, duck! Jeez, don't you remember what it was like when your shadow came out? It must have been enjoying life far more than you. Be careful! I don't know what's happening! You all saw shadows as mere monsters, didn't you? These things move on pure instinct. They go wild because you defy them. You annoying little brats are the ones who are wanted in the new world! Speak for yourself! Living is too painful for you, but you don't want to die? Of course no one would understand. It makes no sense. You're just throwing a tantrum like a kid who can't have his way! People can't live alone. If you give in and sever your ties to human society, it will naturally become hard to live in it. Yet you refuse to face life and admit your fault, running from your own humanity like a coward. And though you claim to find life troublesome, you cause nothing but trouble for many others. Your twisted logic is that of an immature, egotistic brat. Shut up! Stop, Stop trying, trying to act all tough! You guys can't, can't even stand on your own, unless you deny everything I said! Stupid teenagers! You have no idea what kind of shit I've been through! Favored by the world, my ass! I'm gonna say it flat out! You're just a worthless criminal! Here he comes! This'll probably be our last battle. Let's hit him with everything we've got! The world is about to change! Your existence won't belong there! I thought I could just leave you be, but you're like a plague! I'll have to get rid of all of you! I wish we could get rid of you! But we'll make sure you pay for what you've done. Shut, Shut up! up! Get lost! I can't believe he's the one. That bastard! We can't lose no matter what! Counting on you! Persona! Yeah. <laughs> 
Come on down! Dumbass! Careful, guys. You're really low Water. on health. <laughs> Senpai, you're low on health. Be careful. Persona! <laughs> Come on down!
damn. This is lame. Oh well. Our world's gonna disappear soon, no matter what. I didn't have anywhere to go back to anyways. Everyone's gonna become shadows. <laughs> what the? All humans will become shadows, and I shall descend upon the united world as the master of order. Descend? Order? What's with this guy all of a sudden? What's happening? Guys. This isn't a dachi. It's someone completely different. Both this world and yours will soon be enclosed in a fog that never lifts. It will be the peaceful world that mankind has longed for. Who are you? I am Amino Sagiri. One who rules the fog. One awakened by man's desires. Do what you will. But your world's erosion cannot be stopped. It is an inevitability. You played your part well, stirring up the will of the masses into madness. But that will soon come to an end. Mankind will soon become shadows and live on in the darkness of the fog, oblivious of their reality. Doing this! I am the one that shepherds humans to their true desires. Though their hearts longed for peace, it could never be attained. So they tore down the wall between image and reality. Indeed, this is the outcome desired by mankind. And mankind's desires are my desires. That is why I decided to expand this you're saying you're the one who created this nasty-ass world? This is part of the sea of unconsciousness that exists within human hearts. A hollow forest born from bloated desire and false imagery. Humans view things as they see fit. They wish not for truth, but rather prefer the undesirables be hidden in fog. Still, humans fear what they cannot see. That brief yearning for truth becomes a ray of light which breaks the fog and torments the shadows. That's why they attack and kill whoever's nearby at that time. A hollow forest. Then this place isn't simply affected by people's hearts. It actually exists inside them? Mankind abandoned its pursuit of truth, placing itself in the depth of chaos and falsehood. Thus, my strength has grown, and the fog will not lift. Your world will be engulfed by the hollow forest. Will you shut up already? We'll just use our power to beat the heck out of you and it'll all be over! It was I who made it possible for you to bring about this destiny. I bestowed power onto those who could brave the Hollow Forest. That is what allowed you to come in contact with this world. And you all have done very well since. Bestowed power? Contact with this world? You mean the power to enter the TV? Then the Midnight Channel, was that phenomenon also your doing? Humans fail to see things as they truly are. They choose to see only what they wish. I acted only in support of this. A world filled with desires, viewed through a window from which one sees what one wishes to see. Humans departed from reality of their own volition, craving more false images. A window that shows people what they want to see.
So that's why those who got famous suddenly appeared on the Midnight Channel, one after another. It was all in people's minds. I have to say, it must be true. The Midnight Channel we saw in Namatame's hospital room, that kept bothering me since. What we saw there wasn't Namatame's true intent. Then it came on because we were all thinking, this person must be the killer, he can't be forgiven? <laughs> we let ourselves be de- Exactly. The more false images one yearns for, the more one stops yearning for reality. And so the forest grows on. That is the expansion of this world. Enough talk already! Long story short, you're the one behind all this! Yeah, I don't know who you are, but you're going down! People want to become shadows? Their desire is your desire? To hell with that! When did we wish for that crap anyways? We kept fighting and fighting like morons to get where we're standing. Yes, that I did not foresee. The ability to master your own shadow that emerged to kill you and use its power. A new and uncertain facet of mankind. Is it worthy to put my trust in? It must be tested. what you want so far, but that'll end when we crush you! Precisely. Then we know what we gotta do now. I don't want people to turn into shadows! We'll defeat it for sure! I'll back you up with everything I've got! This thing has no right to exist! This act which goes against your world's wishes. Now, let everything vanish into the sweet fog of illusion. This is the end. This time, it's all over. Let's finish off ugly here. We ain't about to let a gross looking eyeball do whatever it wants. Let us begin. Soda! <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. 
are fools. Your actions will draw many back into suffering and s- Why will you not- He's the one! That bastard! We can't lose, no matter what! Yes, <laughs> 
counting on you. It's over. <laughs> Come on now! Your health is really Persona. low. Ha <laughs> ha! 
You're really Luna. low on health. Persona! Persona! There! <laughs> Come on down! You're gonna pay, damn it! Count 
are strong. Power comes from the heart. You have proven to me human potential. Very well. I will lift the fog from the place where you will return to. Mankind's desires are my desires. If mankind so wishes, I will return at any time. I am always at your side, watching. Well, don't wait up! We'll keep that from happening no matter what! Time will show the path humanity takes. Children of the new potential. You think it was controlling Adachi son? Who can say? I believe it was at least partially his own intention as well. So that's it, huh? <clears> hmm. <throat> Fine. Live however you want. If you think you have the power to change the future, then go right ahead. Everyone has the power to do that. <laughs> Get out of here. The shadows will finish me off. Just leave me be. You came to kill me in the first place, didn't you? No, dumbass. If we leave you here dying, and a dead body eventually appears, then what? What's that accomplished for anyone? Your stupid game's over. We're taking you back. Live and face your punishment. 
That's how it works in our world. Right. I'm sure that's the outcome Dojima-san wishes for as well. Greetings, Shirogane-san. We got word from Detective Dojima. He's wanted on suspicion of murdering Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi, right? Correct. Understood. We have an ambulance waiting downstairs. Should we have them bring the stretcher up here? An ambulance? Detective Dojima assumed one would be necessary. He wanted the suspect to be carefully taken into protective custody. It... Well, it was a personal favor to him. They were partners, after all. Then yes, please have them bring up the stretcher. Understood. for real. What's up, senpai? Did you think I was crying? It's just so bright. It's been so long since the sky was that blue. It's finally over. Hey, don't get all sappy. We did this together. But, well, this means... We've won. Huh? What are we doing? Ooh, what's this? Everyone ready? Here goes! We did it! Why didn't you guys say it? You all joined in when Risa John did it! Um, I think that was a little too hard to get on the spot. Which part did you mean for us to say? The woohoo part! Can we just do it over? Man, having to redo something like this kind of kills the fun of it. All right, Chia, do that weird call again. Not if you're going to call it weird. <laughs> um, people are beginning to stare. I don't think we should stay like this much. Um, my hand's getting kind of sweaty. Sheesh! Fine then. It's all yours, Sensei! Aren't you supposed to do this before you start something, not after it's over? Huh? Who cares?
So the case is closed for reals this time. I think we can safely leave the rest to the police. Adachi has confessed his crimes, so I'm sure Namatame's presumed guilt will be re-examined as well. I see. Then that really wraps it up. What do you do now, Teddy? You're not going back over there, are you? You better not, you dumb bear. You don't know how much you worried us last time. I won't suddenly disappear like that again. Damn straight you won't. Man, just stay here, all right? all gone over here because everyone tried so hard and now Nanako-chan's gotten better! Nanako-chan tried hard too. She... She's such an amazing girl. <laughs> Seriously, thank heavens she's okay. Chan will be delighted! We'll need a cake then. G guys, please say you're not gonna. Huh? We're gonna make one. Of course, we're gonna make one. I've already researched the ingredients. Hey, wait, wait a sec. Whoa there! That's way too tall an order for you! Let's go to the grocery department! Come on, Nato Kun, you too! But I've never baked a cake. Don't worry, neither have we. It's so warm. So this is the fabled Kotatsu. I was really looking forward to the new Kotatsu. Yeah. You talked about it all the time at the hospital. Nanako needs to go back for a full checkup early next year, but if they don't find anything wrong, they'll let her go immediately. If I'd gotten better sooner, we would have been able to buy the Katatsu together. Let's go together. Sorry for the wait! Oh no. The Christmas edition of Mystery Food X is about to be served. Bring it on. I'm ready. Got my insurance card and everything. <sighs> it's a cake! Hey, this is bigger than I imagined. Wait, Nanako chan! I'll be the first one to. No! It's delicious! It tastes really good! Th that can't be. No. Has she lost all sense of taste?
Did you guys really make this? Huh? Uh, of course we did. Does it actually taste like something? It's not hot, is it? How is it, Kanji? Hmm? It, it's amazing! You know what they say about true talent not needing to show off. Turns out we had good taste in cooking after all. <sighs> then again, this one was our third attempt. Hey, Yosuke! Chie-chan and the others really are talented chefs. Three stars for sure! I impossible! This actually tastes good! Wait, I didn't already pass out, did I? This isn't a dream, right? Um, Nana-chan, guess what I have? Ta-da! A Christmas present for you! Oh, it looks just like you! I wish I could have made it look better. But I thought it'd keep you company at the hospital, Nana-chan. Oh, and it's made from 100% pure teddy fur. I'm a guy who's all about using all natural materials. Isn't that nice of him, Nanako? Teddy fur. Uh huh. Thank you, Teddy. I have to thank you all again. Adachi confessed to the two murders. He insists it was him who hung the bodies, too. There are still things that are unclear about his story, but he's most likely gonna pay for his crimes. Anyway, this was one strange case. If what you said about a world inside the TV was true, then everything might make sense. Though I still don't believe it. Some things in this world just can't be explained. Like Nanako. She made a miraculous recovery, and now she's as healthy as ever. Back in the day, my own senpai on the forest told me something. There's an underside to everything that you can never see. This case has made me think about a lot of things. You've helped us out so much. <laughs> it was meant to be the other way around, really. There isn't much time left until spring, but I hope I can do some catching up until then. That's right. You're only here until spring, huh? Senpai, you're going back? It won't be the same without you. Sensei? Are you going somewhere? Don't forget, there are people waiting for you. When you get home, show your parents how much you've grown this past year. And then if they're okay with it, you can come back here at any time. Come on, spring's a long ways off, right? Let's have all the fun we can until then. <laughs> hey, don't get too carried away. My sis would kill me if you got yourself held back a year. Oh, but then you wouldn't have to go back, huh? Wow, if that happened, I'd be in the same grade as Senpai. Yo! You're back.
off the phone with Chie. Have you checked your TV? Nothing came on, right? I mean, there was no glow or anything. It's definitely raining outside, though. Does this mean the Midnight Channel's off the air? I'm being serious here. Now that we beat that Amano Sagiri, the case is completely over, right? Sorry, I didn't mean to hound you for an answer. I just felt nervous. But it's finally sinking in. All of us together. Man, all these things are coming back to me. Like, when I put you on the spot and asked you to be our leader? <laughs> what am I getting all worked up for? The others must all be super happy right now, too. I bet she is practically crying her eyes out. All right, I'll call you again later. Seriously, though. Thanks. Sorry. Whew. Sorry to keep you waiting. Wait, huh? Is it just you here, senpai? Seriously? This is the time we all decided on, isn't it? I was watching TV at home, but it seems like I fell asleep. When I woke up, that New Year's show, Toshi Koshi Kuro Toshi, had already started, so I rushed out here. Sorry we're late. Hellos! I'm sorry, Sensei. It's all Yosuke's fault. Ah, you're such a good bear. Me? It was 100% your fault. But I am sorry about making you wait. We had an emergency at work. Everyone had to refill all of the lucky draw bags. We just finished a second ago. Because a certain someone just crammed a bunch of stuff into the bags without checking any of the prices! Talking about you, you little... Moving on! Hey, Sensei, where's Nana-chan and her dad? You doofus. You can't come out on a cold night like this. Dojima-san and Nanako-chan just got temporarily released from the hospital for the holidays. They aren't healed yet. Well, then.
then where's everyone else? Why are only the guys here? D don't tell me. Is this going to be some lame guys' night celebration? N no lovely girls? Hell no. But man, they're late. They should have gotten here a while ago. What if they're all meeting up at Yukiko-senpai's house first? You know, like to put on their kimonos? K kimonos Did you hear that, s s sensei Kimonos! Aren't you getting worked up about this a bit too early? Huh? You're the only one who's not psyched for Kimonotion! Why are you turning this on me? Although I must say, seeing Rizette in a kimono would be quite a sight. Oh, maybe Naoto's in one too. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little... I'm sorry about the wait. Sorry. We went to buy some heating packs and ended up running late. We're sorry. Uh. Huh. What's with the non-reaction? What? Where are your kimonos? Why would I be in a kimono? We aren't going to be out long enough to bother with putting one on. See, that's what I thought. I told you all that from the beginning. Ow, my ears! You got your hopes up on your own. Don't take it out on us. A girl has to save her best outfits for the moments that count the most. Huh? A kimono's one of a girl's best outfits? Wait, you're implying that you're out of our league. She wasn't implying. My heart just froze over. Um, shouldn't we be more mindful of the time? If we don't hurry, we'll have to do the countdown here at the entrance. Oh no! We're going to miss the two-year shrine visit! This is my first time being with friends on midnight of New Year's Day! I'd always just spent it with everyone at the inn until last year. Actually... I'm glad we were all able to celebrate today here peacefully. Yeah. Alright everyone, let's get going! Handing out Amazaki over there. Uh, uh, not till New Year's. Hey, how huh? long till next year? Uh. Oh. oh, it's almost time. <laughs> okay, five, four, three, two, two one. one. <laughs> Happy New Year! I'm glad we're here together. New Year's here. Finally, the New Year. Let's here. make this year a great so happy new year, this both year of you. Too, partner. Thank you. <laughs> it's not your <laughs> celebration. Nope, none for you, Rise. <laughs> what? And the same goes for you, Yukiko. Oh, come on, just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's snowing. Wow. Oh. I told you it was cold. Do you think the snow will pile up? This is what they call a white New Year's, huh? No one calls it that. It's a new year, but you're still Moranji. What? Moranji. Oh. Well, hey, hey, what are you nodding for? <laughs> <laughs> Moranji! Shut up! The leading group has crossed the big Showa Bridge, and they're using their final kick as they prepare to hand off. The runners for the next leg wait for their turn to don the sash and run. This relay point was changed in 2009. Ah, there you are. All right, are we ready then? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too, big bro. We'll probably still be a bit of a pain for you, but may things go well this year. In any case, 
You've changed over this past year. You've got a man's face now. I didn't see you while I was hospitalized, and that's what made me notice. I feel relieved since so much happened. Though, it is odd for me to say that, since I'm the one that caused you such trouble. <laughs> Dad, can we eat yet? All right, let's dig in. Man, I can't thank those guys working the holiday at Jeunesse enough. I wandered over there and they even had New Year's food. Thanks for the food! Let's eat. Nanako, what do you want to eat? I'll get it for you. Sorry to keep you waiting. Were you waiting long? I hope not. I couldn't decide which kimono to wear since I thought you'd notice the smell of mothballs. How do I look? Although, I'm always wearing a kimono, so it might not be all that different than usual for you. Thanks. I really like this color and pattern. I don't wear any kimonos that stand out when I'm helping out at the inn, so I don't get many chances to wear this. Many people talked to me on my way here. A lot of them were our regular customers and our suppliers. I guess they thought I was working since I was wearing a kimono. They all told me it must be tough to have to work today. I think this is the first time I've been hiding something from everyone in the shopping district. But for some reason it felt... exciting. And my heart's pounding even more right now. What wish will you make today? I agree, but it'll be all right. I think that everyone is strong enough that we won't need to rely on divine blessings for that. It'll be peaceful this year, so please look over us. Please heed our earnest wishes, God. Do you want to draw fortunes? A great blessing too wow even when i came with everyone at the inn i've never seen two people draw great blessings it actually makes me worry a bit i feel like it won't last too long oh, sorry it's a bad habit of mine to find the negative side of things next year and the year after that no matter what happens i'm sure we'll be okay let's come here again together sometime Our visit to the shrine went by in a flash. Enjoyable times always end so quickly. The night comes so much faster when I'm with you. I never thought such things before. When I'm with you, I experience so many new things. Do you want to go to a cafe or something? Oh, but it's still the first three days of the new year. Cafes may not be open.
I'm sorry. It's New Year's today, so the inn's busy with parties. If I was there, I wouldn't be able to keep you company, and you'd probably get forced into help. Then the chefs would start saying things like I should bake you my husband. <laughs> Jeez. Why don't we walk around and look for a shop that's open? Warm drinks taste better when you're cold. Welcome back. Looks like we got a lot of snowfall this year, huh? Hey, I want to make a snowman! A snowman, huh? I'd help you make one, but the doctor told me to avoid bending over so that my back would heal up. Nanako, don't get too worked up, all right? You'll get sick and have to stay at the doctor's for a long time. Okay. If you get cold, come right in. Can you promise that? Uh-huh. Big bro, that's amazing. How did you get it so big? I think you two have done enough. Let me help now. I think I can take it home from here. Yeah? Just watch and learn. <laughs> You're not the master of snowmen in this house yet. There. It's done! It still needs a face, though. We should draw one for it. We're gonna draw a face? Hey, Big Bro, I want it to look like Teddy. Can you make the face look like Teddy? It's a Teddy Man! <laughs> it looks so cool! You're pretty good. Good for you, Nanako. If we don't go in soon, you'll catch a cold. Aww, already? I'll make you something hot to drink. Well, it'll just be coffee. Okay, make it sweet for me.
Happy New Year. Happy New Year!
Happy New Year. Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year! Welcome to the Velvet Room. What business do you have here? My, quite formal of you. I did not realize that the year had passed. After all, this room is distance from time. Ah, uh, I remember now. I have something I must tell you. Marie has left this room. I suppose that means that her purpose here has come to an end. I do not know it. This room is tightly bound to your fate. My master selects the scenery and even the other residents to match the fate of our occasional customers, and we always change. You may have already noticed, but it was you who ushered her here. She arrived in this place not long after you first visited this room. All we did was provide a name and a role for her. Your fate led Marie here, and you forged a bond with her. I do not know either. However, if you wish, I can locate Marie and take you- I must warn you though, it may involve danger. What is your choice? Very well. Please give me some time. Once I am prepared, I will come for you. Please wait until then. You're back. Happy New Year! Oh wait, I already said that. I hope we get along this year too! But I already said that! <laughs> Sorry to drop by unannounced. I thought about calling you, but we were already in the air. Thank you for inviting me in! You've got to wait for him to actually invite you in first. Do you have any plans during the break? If you don't have anything lined up, why don't we go skiing? There are a lot of mountains in the area, and it seems that there are a lot of little ski resorts around here. 
It'll be a cheap trip because it's local. And the snow quality's supposed to be pretty good, too. What do you think? All right, I knew you'd say that. Chia and Yukiko said that they're free, too. So I'm going to start making serious plans for this. Yukiko's usually busy during this season, too. If she's free, I'm pretty sure everyone else should be able to come. Ooh, another overnight event. I'll leave ski tracks of love under the frigid sky. Hey, Yosuke, do we have a plan for our second chance at a surprise sneak-in? Why are you assuming that we're going to try that again? What happened last time was bad enough. It ain't over till it's over! That doesn't make much sense. I mean, stop bringing that up. We're talking about skiing here. Skiing? Ah, you guys are here. Hello. Sorry for barging in. Oh, and Happy New Year. Oh, yeah. Same to you. Well, we're gonna go now. Sorry, but I'm leaving you to fend for yourself for a while. We should be back by the middle of the month. Are you going on a trip? Nah, we're headed to the hospital. Nanako was only allowed to leave the hospital for New Year's. I need to take her back. Seriously? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned stuff like skiing at a time like... No, that's, that's okay. Nanako's getting better, but the doctor wants to be sure, just in case. I'll be going along for physical therapy and to keep her company. But I'm all better! You don't want there to be any germs hiding away inside you, do you? Don't worry, I'll be with you. It won't be for much longer. Well then, sorry, but I'll have to count on you to look after the house. See you, big bro! Poor Sensei. Are you all alone at home again? I know! I'll stay here with you until Nana-chan and Pops come back. Stay? Wait, do you plan on moving in? Don't be stupid. He already has to do all the housework. I can't saddle him with some burden like you. Sensei, your life with me will be priceless. Wowee! Now that's my sensei! You're agreeing just like that? Man, I'm no kanji, but you seriously are an easygoing guy. Now that that's decided, I'm gonna go get my bare longings and some snacks. Man, he's out of our control. Look, just let him spend one day here at least. If he bugs the hell out of you, you can send him back to me whenever you want. And think about that ski trip. I'll send you an email once I've got all the details worked out. 